Welcome to the World Radio Communication Conference 2023, WRC 23, here in Dubai, in the United Arab Emirates, where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio by Tariq Mohammed, who is a youth fellow for the Caribbean Telecommunications Union. Tariq, welcome to the studio. Thank you for having me. Excellent. Now, tell me a little bit about uh, your, your presence here um, at uh, the ITU WRC. Uh, this is your first World Radio Communication Conference, but I believe you're involved with the Caribbean Telecommunication Union, but you're also involved with ITU. So tell us a little bit about uh, your position here. Thank you. So, as you said, this is my first WRC. I've had the pleasure of joining the CTU's delegation this year as one of their fellows, which was one of the thrusts in the Caribbean, a recent thrust to involve more youth in all spheres of development, both technical as well as non-technical. This fellowship was made possible by one of the CTU's member states, the Telecoms Authority of Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. who um, with the CTU have been working to have youth involved. So over the past few years, we've been uh, working with the CTU. Uh, the CTU has been working with youth in the sphere of internet governance. And they also uh, bringing along a new network of youth in ICT, both technical as well as non-technical, all coming together to develop the next generation of policymakers, regulators, engineers. So this is, as I said, my first WRC. Um, a lot of new experiences in terms of witnessing the processes, the ITU and UN processes for getting uh, drafting groups done, working groups done, moving items in and up the agenda, getting agenda items uh, sorted out. Uh, more particularly, the agenda items of interest in the Caribbean which are a few which we have consensus on, such as on matters such as IMT, which is agenda item 1.2, future agenda items for the next WRC, um, GMDSS, radio um, HAPS as well, which is 1.4. So learning all of these acronyms while here and navigating has really been an experience that without this fellowship, I would have never been able to truly experience for myself. So I'm very grateful for being here. Now, it's a long haul. I mean, this is a sort of you know, four weeks of very important topics which are going to set the future uh, in terms of radio communication. Had you had any kind of uh, inkling of, uh, of how in-depth it would be? I am familiar with the radio regulations through my work. So I'm an ITU consultant on a regional Caribbean project uh, with the Caribbean Telecommunications as well as the Telecoms Authority of Trinidad and Tobago as partners. And one of the key... Uh, documents for which we reference is always the radio regulations, the issue of 2020, which came out of WRC 19. So I'm quite familiar with the regulations as well as their various appendices. But what is very interesting to me was specifically that the agenda items for next WRC, which is four years away, set today in these four weeks that we're here now. So the overall process is a bit new to me, but I am generally familiar with the uh, end goal and the end products uh, of the WRC. And having been here, what do you think you will take back with you? What will be the, the takeaways from this conference for you? I know that we're not quite at the end, but we're getting pretty close. I think that's a very loaded question because there's so many things that can come out of this one experience. Firstly, as a youth who, you know, this is my first WRC. I'm thinking, how do I go back and share with my peers all of the experiences, all of the knowledge that I've gained? How do I disseminate that, not just to my peers alone, but to the other youth in the Caribbean uh, that I'm involved in uh, through other youth networking activities? How does this feed into what we as the Caribbean should be moving to focus on next? And how can we be in CTU work with all of its member states to harmonize the region and take what outputs, outcomes and impacts that are made here at this WRC and feed that into the next WRC and beyond. Well, Tarek, thank you so much for um, sharing your insights of this uh, from your perspective. And uh, I'm sure we'll catch up with you again in the next one. Thank you for having me. And if you've enjoyed this interview, then do check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on our podcast channels. And for further information, visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.